In the 2023.5 release of Home Assistant, Workday sensors got an update to make setting up this critical sensor easier. But the changes resulted in a repair notice that requires some action. And for those of us that had more than one Workday sensor, these changes may have broken our setup. So stick around because we're going to talk about how all of this impacts your ability to automate the boring stuff. Each Home Assistant release brings changes meant to lower the barrier of entry for new users. Unfortunately, that sometimes breaks things for those of us that have been using Home Assistant for a while now. Thankfully, most of the time, those breaking changes are just merely inconveniences, not something that actually breaks functionality. For the recent changes to the Workday sensor, most of us are going to get that inconvenience part. For some of us, though, this broke our automations. So let's talk about the Workday sensor. According to the Workday integration page, only 4.6% of us are using this sensor. But I think this is one of those critical bits of context that can make our automations smarter, especially if you're like me and have different schedules based on whether it's a Workday or not. I don't know about you, but I like to sleep in when I don't have work on the schedule. And the Workday sensor can help your smart home be aware of that context. This integration creates a binary sensor that uses your country and region along with the days of the week and your holidays in your local country country to determine whether or not the current day is a work day. It comes in handy as a condition in automations where you want to apply that context to a limit when an automation would run based on whether or not it's a work day or not. And of course, in full Home Assistant fashion, it's completely customizable. Prior to the 2023.5 release, you had to create these sensors by editing your YAML configuration files directly. But as of 2023.5, that setup has migrated to the integration flow. First up, I just want to apologize real quick because in this video, you're going to see a couple of different themes or colors on my screen. Some of this was recorded a month ago and I was still using my dark theme, but after some feedback and some previous videos, I've moved to this lighter one and I had to re-record this part of it. So that's why you're going to see two different themes. Hopefully it doesn't cause too big of an issue, but just know going forward that everything is going to be in this lighter theme. Anyway, back to the topic of this video, which is adding a workday sensor from the integration panel. Here we are in the integration panel, and we're just going to go down here and hit this add integration at the bottom, and then we can just search for workday. I'll choose it, and now we need to give our workday sensor a name. And for this, I'm going to just say test, and we're going to choose our country and hit submit. Now we're presented with a bunch of options that allow us to customize this sensor. And by default, it's set to exclude Saturday, Sunday, and holidays, but you can adjust that as needed. Let's say that you work on Saturday and have Sunday and Monday off. You could easily update that here by just changing your exclude days to include Sunday and Monday. And I think you're also then going to want to update this as well. And in this case, since we're saying that Sunday and Monday are days off, we're going to remove Monday from here and we're going to add Saturday. Then you can add any holidays. These have to be added as a year month date format. But if you had a particular holiday that maybe your company celebrates that the rest of the businesses in your area don't, then you could add that here. And just for an example, we'll add Rex Manning Day, which is April 8th. Now, I'm not real sure yet how this handles yearly occurrences of this date, because we did have to specify a year, which makes me think this is only going to work for this particular instance in 2023. So you may have to play around with that. And of course, you can remove holidays as well. And I would suggest using the year month date here as well. It does say you can use partial name, but so far in at least my test, that has not worked so well. And subdivision of country, this is where you could add your state or province, depending on where you live. It's not needed, but if you want a little bit finer detail, you could always add that in here. Then after that, we can hit submit. And if everything's good, you'll get the success message right here. Although there is an issue in which this may not work, which we will talk about in just a bit. But once you hit finish, when you scroll down, you should see your Workday sensor now presented here. Like I said, adding a Workday sensor has gotten easier now that it's moved to the integration panel. But if you already had your Workday sensors defined, then you got a repair notice. 
So let's switch gears and talk about how to clear that repair notice. If you use the Workday sensor in your Home Assistant setup, you may see a repair in your systems or repair menu, telling you that the Workday YAML configuration has been removed. Now, currently everything should be fine, but according to this information right here, the 2023.7 release means that everything is going to stop working if you have it configured inside your YAML files. And of course, the nice thing is they've already migrated that sensor to the new setup. So all we have to do is remove it from our configuration. This is pretty simple. All you have to do is head over to your configuration and find where you have defined that Workday sensor. Mine currently lives in my configuration.yaml file under the binary sensor heading, and I've got two set up here. One that's just workday, and then one that's defined as Jeff underscore workday. And all we have to do here is remove these. And I comment them out just because if I need to reference them, I can do that, and they can be here and not impact any of the configuration. And I can always come back and remove them later, although seldom do I do that, which I probably should get better at doing that. But anyway, now we can flip back over to this and we're just going to leave it here for now instead of ignoring it we've saved it so let's go ahead and restart home assistant and we'll see what happens and there we go home assistant has started anyway now if we pop over here to our settings you'll see that we no longer see that repair for the workday sensor so in essence we have now fixed that if you want to verify that that sensor was actually already migrated, you'll find them now under the integrations. So devices and services, and then here under integrations, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see our Workday sensor. I'm not sure if you caught the major issue that some of us might have with this update during that repair process. But if you noticed, I had two Workday sensors defined in my YAML configuration and only one of them migrated. So let's focus on what's happening here and what it may mean for you. Again, based on the usage data for this integration, the chances that a lot of us are going to have this problem is pretty small. And what is happening here is a result of a decision made by the dev team as opposed to a limitation inside of Home Assistant. Because prior to the 2023.5 release, you could define multiple Workday sensors that had the same parameters. As you can see here, the only difference between these two is the name. And prior to this update, that worked fine. For me, this was done more in the name of future-proofing my smart home. For longtime viewers of my channel, you'll know that I'm a fan of making things as modular as possible in order to reduce the effort needed in the future to adjust to changes outside of my control. Because we all know that nothing in smart home is static. So I built two Workday sensors, in essence, one for each of the workers inside of my home. That way, if one of the Workday schedules changed for one of those individuals, then I would just need to modify a single entity. And this effort to plan for an unknown future is what caused my issues because currently the Workday sensors match. And now because of this move to the integration panel, that functionality of having duplicate sensors was removed. As long as your Workday sensors are different in more than just their name, you're good. But based on my decisions with the dev that made this change, they didn't see any reason why people would need duplicates of the same sensor. So the integration was updated to only allow Workday sensors that are defined with different parameters. So going forward, you'll no longer be able to have Workday sensors that are the same, yet named different. Granted, this isn't a big deal, and the offered solution was to simply make a sensor different by adding an arbitrary holiday. But that also may break things based on your setup. Again, in the grand scheme of things, not really that big of a deal, but I think it's important to understand what's going on here, especially if you're one of those like me that had multiple Workday sensors prior to this update. There was one other issue that was a bug in that 2023.5 release related to the Workday sensor, and that is when you tried it to add a Workday sensor that matches one that already exists, you should get a message that tells you that it was a duplicate and that it wasn't added. Instead, you just got a blank message window. That bug was fixed in the 2023.5.3 patch, so if you've already updated to something later, you're good. Again, I don't know if this limitation is going to find its way into other YAML-based entities that are migrated to the integration panel in the future, but I suspect it probably will, because Home Assistant is trying to make things easier for new users, and having duplicates of the same sensor with simply a different name can add confusion. But this may be one of the first changes that they've made in the name of making things easier that I'm not a fan of. Anyway, that's it for this one.
Now it's time for you to go automate the boring stuff.